there's a frightening security weakness that was just discovered impacting a very, very popular software application known as Bash. And Bash is actually found in the Linux operating system, which is used to power many, many web servers on the internet. In fact, if you're watching this video online, it's very likely that the web server from which this video is being served actually runs Bash on it. Now, in this particular vulnerability, an attacker can craft a very special string or a sequence of characters such that if the Bash application were to be invoked using this sequence of characters, then the attacker could run arbitrary commands on the system that he's trying to compromise. Now, obviously, being able to run arbitrary commands is about as bad as it gets. It means that the attacker has gotten carte blanche access to the system. From a severity perspective, on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being the most severe, this particular security vulnerability in my mind is clearly a 10. To make matters worse, from a complexity standpoint, it's actually very, very simple to take advantage of or to exploit this vulnerability. I would even go so far as to say that on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being a highly complex exploit, this particular issue is about a 1. And so in fact, what you can see here on the screen is a very simple one-line proof of concept exploit that I've created. And here you can see what's happening is the following. Bash has this concept of an environment variable, an environment variable. And this environment variable can be used to pass specific values into an invoked instance of Bash. It turns out, however, that one can actually add some commands to the end of the description of an environment variable. And Bash, in an unpatched version, will actually run those commands. So if a bad guy plays his cards right, he can effectively get Bash to execute any commands of his choosing. In the case of the simple proof of concept that I've shown here, these additional commands are fairly innocuous. Here we're simply or merely printing out the string, you are vulnerable. Of course, in practice, we can have the commands be much more nefarious. There's a simple one-liner you can put that will literally open up a command window that will be piped over the internet and provided to the attacker. And then the attacker can do whatever it is they would like to do on the system at that point from that command window. I haven't shown that exploit here, but it does exist. So in practice, what would happen is that the bad guy would find an application that's running on a server that at some point uses bash and that at some point passes environment variables to bash but in a way that the bad guy can control implicitly what those environment variables are. So for example, you might have a web server running the Apache web server software. And web server software often uses something known as the Common Gateway Interface, or CGI, to generate dynamic web content. Now CGI itself can invoke bash, and the attacker can control what environment variables are passed to this invocation of bash. And since it's possible to put arbitrary commands into an environment variable and then have those commands get executed by bash, I'm sure you can quickly see that the attacker can cause quite a lot of damage here. What's frightening is that the vulnerability here has been present in bash for 22 years and it actually dates back to version 1.13 of bash. The vulnerability that I've just talked about was discovered in bash version 4.3 and it was discovered by Stefan Chazelis. The vulnerability has a common vulnerabilities and exposures or CVE number of CVE 2014-6271. The presence of this vulnerability in my mind is yet another sign of how complex the internet is and how complex internet applications are. A single top level application running on a system can leverage many, many other lower level applications underneath it. It takes just one security weakness among these downstream applications to wreak havoc. If you manage a web server, I would advise you to update your version of the Bash application as fast as humanly possible. Uh, if you're an end user, I would caution you to avoid putting sensitive data on websites unless you know that they've been patched as well.